welcome back to another video. My name is Randall, and welcome back to another Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Randall, and welcome back to another plush review, custom plush review. And um, before we get into this, I just want to say, yes, tomorrow is the Five Nights Freddy's nine-year anniversary. Yes, I do have something planned. Hopefully, it's able to get out. I've been working really hard on this for weeks um trying to get everything prepared for it and hopefully it all turns out um and also why aren't we on the usual desk setup why is there a green screen behind me well um i'm currently filming at a time where there's no light that would come to my desk and uh the anniversary is coming up so i do have this green screen set up for a certain something and um i mean it works pretty well we can flash something behind me oh my gosh no way is that mask bot bro it's mask bot no way but yeah um, let's just get in the video. You saw the title and thumbnail. Um, and oh, yeah, yeah, I also wanted to cover, um, last plush review. I said the next plush review is going to be something to do with that, uh, that mask that she saw. That is still coming, but that's a plush that I made, honestly, a while ago. And I'm making a lot more plushies in its same vein. I'll call it that much. So I think I'm just going to do uh, a collective review of a certain group um i'm sure if you go watch that video you know exactly what group i'm talking about everything so that'll probably just come as a group review and you're gonna want to see that it'll be the first plushies of these characters I, I do a lot of uh first plushies for characters a lot um but with that uh let's get into this review of the next ruin character that i've made so yeah here it is the first one ever made by the way no one's ever made this before it's a cassie yes so i made this cassie plush i think it turned out pretty i think this is my best well you haven't you, you've actually only seen one of them but i'll tell you this much i've made a lot of human plushies this is my best one so far um i just think it turned out super well i mean this lighting doesn't do it any good but it, it looks super good. So so let's just start uh, with the head here. So these eyes are just white fleece with a uh, brown alcohol marker and then black felt and more white fleece for the dots. Uh, I tried to replicate the normal FNAF eyes. I don't like doing that on humans. I think it, it usually would turn out pretty bad um, because, I don't know, it just doesn't fit them. But Cassie isn't an 8-bit sprite. I don't have any 8-bit face to go off of. And luckily... It actually turned out pretty good. Um, I added the eyebrows because, again, with no apron sprite, we're actually going to try and make this thing look human. So, I mean, I think it worked pretty well. Um, of course, I did use the balloon boy pattern. You can see in that zoomed out shot. Um, and then I used the black alcohol marker to make a frown. But you can see without without the, the nose. <laughs> that looks kind of weird. So I did add the nose. And it actually turned out pretty well. So... I think I got this face spot on. Um, I added the hair strands over here and this over here, and then I tried to make it indent here to match how it looks. And then on the back, you can see that I had the back of the hair, like the circus baby pattern and balloon boy pattern ones. And then I added the circles and I added hair bands with the little jewelries that they have. Um, they're all double layered felt. I uh, got that technique from SciPy. Or actually, I think I used that before, but I didn't use it to this extent. Um, so thank you, Slide Pie. Um, they're all, every single piece is double layered felt. The jewelry is, the bands are, uh, and technically they're two pieces, so or like four. Um, and then all the all the hair is, which maybe the hair was um, overdoing it, but I don't know. Uh, the eyes and eyebrows aren't though, but it's turned out pretty well. So I made that with my sewing machine. And then moving on to the body, uh, I just used that pattern again that I made. Um, I made this pattern on my own, by the way. I didn't buy a Balloon Boy pattern plush and like rip it up. I, I did just make this from eyeballing what they look like. Um, uh, and so I took this red piece, I just made it all around, and then I tried something new. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know how to do it. So I just kind of guessed. Um, I, I may, I tried to do embroidering for the stars here, because I, I always want to do Funko accurate, and I feel like that's what Funko would do. So, I tried to 
Uh, it's not very visible, but I just wanted to represent the stars somehow. And I think a bordering was the best option. And I think it turned out okay. Um, and then I added these things, which I don't know why she has. Again, with fleece. I think it's good that I used fleece instead of uh, felt. I think it turned out a lot better. I wish, here. It's like, uh, for a split second, make the green screen a photo of what this looks like in normal light. This, this character. Because it does not look like this. It looks like this. Completely different. Um, I don't know what this is doing to it. Like, it, this looks orange in this light. Let me, uh, here, let me do this. No, 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 not really. This is kind of more accurate, but it's super dark. Um, so I guess we'll turn this on. I wish it was a way you could get, you can tell the color. Again, I'll just show the picture there. That's what it really looks like. It's not this weird color. Um, but I guess that's how I feel looking at the video, so that's fine. Um, and then here, I just took a blue piece of fleece. I brought it all around here. And then I sewed in this bottom piece. And then the arms, usually I like stuff them. This time I didn't um, because I didn't think it needed it. I, uh, I just did arm pieces and then I added the red felt for uh, another layer of it. And then I added the bracelet uh, just with white fleece. I mean, I mean fleece, that's what I meant. Um, and then put alcohol marker drawings of it with the other ones that I had already been using. Um, and then here I added stars. Here I added another uh, white fleece with dots, and then here I added a neck and added these parts of it. Um, and yeah, I think the body turned out pretty good. Uh, for the um, legs, I just took a really dark blue. I know that's purple, but I didn't have that on me. I think the dark blue is like pretty much the same color anyway. It's not very purple. Um, it's like the same color as Nexi Mixies, uh, MXES, uh, which is kind of this color. I just took that, um, I added the same light blue fleece, and then I added white fleece rim, and then I just added white fleece for shoes and tried to use purple alcohol marker to do the shoes. And I think it turned out pretty well. Then let me show you something. Again, you saw a mask in the other videos. This is my first mask. In fact, I think it's my worst mask so far, but it's actually still pretty good, I would say. The other ones are just really good. Um, so yeah, here we go. I did do a mask, a vanity mask, of course. Look at this. So here it is <laughs> um i mean it looks okay uh it's quadruple layered fleece and then just added on the folds in the ears and it is does have a back side um to be like when you put on the mask like tuning or let me go um i just added that uh with alcohol marker painted white fleece or felt i mean this is white felt uh, alcohol molar marker drawn as well. Um, but here's Cassie's face and here's the mask. Pretty small compared to it. But I mean, the, the way that this is designed, that's kind of what you had to do when you have oval. And so you just kind of put this over here and you just kind of position it there. You lay, you kind of just lay it on top. It doesn't really strap around um, because there's no way to do that because the hair bobs. Uh, if that's what it's called, I don't know what it's called. Um, but then this is how it turns out and I mean it's fine I think it, I think it works for what it needs to do um, I'm not gonna have her like this usually um, maybe maybe off to the side like that but I think it's better just like this more recognizable as Cassie but you can always because I've been doing masks recently I thought gotta do a vanny mask so boom you can put the vanny mask on it works pretty well but I'd usually just leave it off. Um, and then, of course, we always do uh, a plush to go along with it. So we'll bring in uh, the last custom we reviewed on the channel, our, uh, our Ruin Roxy. Um, so here's Cassie and Ruin Roxy, of course. Best of buds. Um, tell me if you, if you guys want to see a Gregory custom. I actually haven't done a Gregory yet. So should I do a Gregory? Tell me in the comments if they're open. And if not... Uh, put it on Week in Review Week 31 uh, Mr. A's video Tell me if you want to see A Gregory Okay, I'll do a Gregory um, If you subscribe If you subscribe, I'll do a Gregory um, And then now would be a good chance to talk about Why I'm probably not going to be doing any more Ruin customs um, That are the Ruin animatronics I mean, I, I might do Next team mixies I might do that but I've done Mimic, I've done Cassie, I did Ruin Roxy, and I explained in my Ruin Roxy video why I'm doing them. How, 
you should never do customs of a game that just came out. Uh, but I was I was taking Ruin as an exception because I didn't think that they would do merch of it. And then they just announced that they're doing uh they're do, they're do, they're doing merch of Ruin. They're only doing four characters, and they said three waves. So technically, those waves could be mystery minis, pops, and figures. And we could not get any plushies like I thought because I, I literally don't know how they would do plushies of this. Um, but I mean, it was announced. So I probably won't be doing any more of the ruined glam rocks, but I might do a mixies. Um, I mean, I already did mimic and Cassidy and ruined Roxy. So doing a mixies would kind of complete it. I mean, the only other character that I would do would be mask bot. I might do a mask bot. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but I haven't, I haven't done normal map bot, so I'd probably do that first. So I don't know. Um, I don't know, what, what other ruined characters are there? Eclipse? I might, I might do an Eclipse, but, um, I, I don't want to have to buy two, a sun and a moon plush. Um, I might just use, if I have, if I'm ever able to get it. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll take advantage of the screen screen here. Boom! This plush, again, if the green screen works, this plush of the mix between sun and moon that Funko released, it is bigger than a normal plush. It's kind of like a, another one of the medium plushes like they did with tie-dye. But yeah, this one, I'd probably just get that and use it as a unwithered eclipse, and then I might not never, I might not ever make a withered eclipse. But I want to get this plush and use it as an eclipse. Uh, I think that's the official design now for an unwithered eclipse because we never got to see one in game, and we we've gotten this here, so pretty good. Unwithered eclipse. I do want to get that in the future, um, but I just want to say probably not going to do any ruined glam rocks until they release their ruined merch. And once they release that, if there's no plushies, I might do more Ruin Glam Rocks. But I do want to do more Ruin plushies. Um, maybe a Mixies, Nexi. Um, but I probably won't do any more of the Shadow Animatronics. I mean, I already have a pretty good Ruin collection with Cassie, uh, Mimic, and Ruin Roxy. Doing a Mixies and a Mascot would basically be a full wave. So, or a Mascot. So, I might do that. I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, but with that, I think I'm gonna end the video there. Pretty long video. Um, I gotta see if this green screen really works. And yeah, get excited for tomorrow, guys. So tomorrow is the anniversary. It's crazy. The nine-year anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's. The, the original game that's when it released. That's just crazy. I was, I've been here since the beginning. I've been here since the first game came out. I wasn't fully into it since until the second game came out. Um... But I was there when the first game came out. I remember it. I uh, I just wasn't like a giant fan of it until the second game came out. And after the second game came out, then I was like uh, watching like the game theories. And I remember when FNAF... I don't remember as clearly when FNAF 3 came out. But I remember when his FNAF 3 theories were new. And I kind of remember that with FNAF 2 as well. But I don't remember FNAF 2 coming out. I kind of remember FNAF 3. I remember watching Markiplier's playthrough. Um, and I remember his game theories being, like, groundbreaking, but, uh, I don't really remember the release release, fully, like, remember when it came out until FNAF 4. Um, I remember the, when FNAF 4 came out and Matt Pat's initial theory, where he's like, I'm ahead, and then, like, the other one came out. I remember when that video came out. Um, uh, I remember that exact animation. I remember this. I remember FNAF 4's release, especially. But maybe not FNAF 3 as much, but I think I really became a true fan of the series by FNAF 2. I mean, it was in my life. People in my family liked it, but I personally didn't become a fan until around FNAF 2. Um, I, re I remember FNAF 2 coming out, because um, I remember the Matt Pat Theory coming out as well. But I remember watching that and being a fan of it. But I, I don't think I really watched the FNAF 1 theory that Matt Pat did when it came out. I, cause, especially because um, his, that theory and his Quitter Pet Scop theory, I didn't really feel like watching back then. I didn't like his like real life theories and they always just kind of made me sad. And now I watch them. Now I've watched them. But back then, I didn't watch those. But I, 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 I've been there since the beginning. I've been, I've been a fan. We'll say that. I, I really have been kind of. I wasn't really super into it when the FNAF game was, when the FNAF 1 was out. But FNAF 2 came out, I was a fan. So... I've been there since the beginning. Um, I was I was young uh, when that came out. I was like, I was uh, five. Yeah, I was five. Well, I was four, but I was like, it was the end of the year, so I was five when FNAF three came out. So again, I was young. 
Um, part of the reason why I collect these plushies, I'll, I'll go on a tangent here, because it is the anniversary. Part of the reason why I collect these plushies is because, I mean, I was there when these were in stores. I mean, Wave 1 was in stores, and I was, I, I really wanted, I mean, me and uh, someone else in my family, I got Freddy, they got Mangle, and then I wanted my own Mangle, of course. And that's when the collection started. Um, that's really when it started, was same day I got Freddy, I was like, someone else got Mangle. Uh, but they weren't gonna be there the whole time, and I was like, okay, I, I want my own Mangle, bro. I want Freddy and Mangle, so we got Mangle, and uh, the rest is history. And now I've got this giant collection again. That 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 if the green screen works, um, and that collection is from the beginning of the year. It's definitely grown quite a lot since the year started. But I just wanted to go on that tangent here. Um, I've been there since the beginning. Five Nights at Freddy's really means a lot to me. It's my favorite franchise, probably like for sure. Um, and I've kind of got a FNAF channel. I mean, uh, I was a Minecraft channel for a little bit there, uh, last month or the month before, uh, the SMP. I'll talk about the SMP a little bit. The SMP did shut down, unfortunately. Um, Light Jake, Light Jake was a little weird. He like, he was like, okay, I just shut down the server and blocked everyone. And then I'm like, what? But, you know, that's how things happen sometimes. So maybe that's why there hasn't been that many SMP videos recently, because it like you know doesn't exist anymore. Um, but yeah, I mean, and Ruin, the Ruin craze was amazing. Uh, loved Ruin. That's why I'm making so many customs of it. And throughout the years, there has been so many FNAF, good FNAF games, but I think Ruin is my favorite because I got a. That's the one I got to play with you guys. That's the one I got to live stream. Sit there live with people in the chat and that and 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 really my playthrough that was the first game where my playthrough was my first experience of it that happened with security breach but it, I, I i played a, a, the beginning of security breach um I, I didn't beat the game with no knowledge i just played the beginning um you can watch that video on the channel i played the beginning and then i never did any more parts and then i just watched people play because i knew that i probably wasn't going to play but I really sat down, I did it live, and Ruin, because of that, Ruin has became my, my favorite game, guys. Ruin, it's it's a small little, I mean, not isolated, but it's a small, like, game. Uh, sorry, my, I, I thought the recording might have ended. Uh, it was a small game. It was a small little game. Um, and, like, it's one of the only games, well, I shouldn't say one of the only games. It's one of the new steel wool games one of the, the like the only steel wool game where i could tell you the entirety of what happens like through the storyline i could tell you what happens not through the storyline i mean i know the lore of all the games but i mean like th like through the gameplay i could tell you every single event that happened we replayed that game multiple times getting all the endings getting everything getting every secret live with you guys and that just meant a lot so definitely my favorite game now because of that so i just wanted to say that for the anniversary. I know this is a long tangent. This has been like a six minute long tangent. So I think I'm going to end the video there. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys all next time tomorrow with our anniversary video. Which is probably able to come out. It might come out the day after the anniversary. And I have a video planned if I'm not able to do that. But with that, I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye. I don't want this video to reach 20 minutes. So take the outro.